back to the Session Talk Show. It's Hot Topics time. And we're going to start off by talking about the Astros, guys. So, if you're not from Houston, I feel so sorry for you. Oh, because man. you can't come to Houston without repping the Astro. Mm -hmm. Guys, who went to the parade? I did. I oh, oh I went in spirit. Of course. You okay, it. It. <laughs> I was watching online. So what did y'all think? How was the parade? Oh, it was a lot of energy. But you know what was really cool, though? It's just, it was my first experience during a parade. It was like a heck of a lot of people, like close to a million. But we did street karaoke. Oh, and we did, oh. Yeah. What's yeah, your karaoke song? Like, no, was we are the champions was one of them. Oh, that's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's then the what was the other one? I forgot. Um, but it was so fun because it was like so cool to hear everybody just singing along. Oh, um, what's your karaoke song? Oh, my favorite. What? <laughs> Raw bass. Oh, how I go? How I go? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm ghetto. I'm ghetto. So mine is City Girls. I'll take your man. Oh, it's, oh City Girls. Hey, hey, hey. What's, well, your, what's your karaoke song? Well, I'm a little sensual. Oh, okay. so oh, I do Janet, you know. Which one? Oh, which one? anytime, anywhere. Oh, okay. and you, oh. Can ask, you can ask my friends, my good friends in the audience. She'll tell you. I end up on the floor. Oh, oh that's how you got that baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. congratulations to the Houston Astros, the exactly. world champions of baseball. Mm -hmm. And we are just super excited for them. Yeah. I'm still excited myself. Yeah, we should have probably wore some Astros gear. Yeah. You already got well, your you colors. Were oh, 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 yeah. So oh, this is why I'm wearing this. <laughs> last, so what, last what, what else is going on? Oh, what else? In Houston? Uh, in the like, in entertainment. The world. I want to know. Like, what can we talk about? Well, Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter. Oh, yeah. Aaron Carter. oh boy. Go ahead and go with a low. You know what? I got emotional when well, I first when I saw what happened. So, <clears throat> would you like the honors of doing that? Mm -hmm. He died of a drug overdose. Okay. Well, I was reading in the Blaze if I got mm -hmm. that right. All right. Yeah. And oh. there was this call from um, that. The girlfriend, I forgot the name, just came out, the ex-girlfriend. Okay. And then she called the police. She said, would you go check up on Aaron Carter? Because I don't think he's not right. Uh, they did something. He's hot. Well, he did something. And then allegedly did something. Would you go and check him out? Like, you know, to see and then, if it's okay. Wait, the some things were drugs or what kind well, of? Well, just like, sort of like, you know, like, you know how the police go, could you go and check on for somebody? For yeah, wellness. Yeah. yeah, wellness check, yes. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, anyway, so that. Guess what happened? He was gone. He was gone. He was easy. She, she said, guess what happened? <laughs> no one showed oh. up and the police were sort of like. Well, they probably get called to his house every Tuesday. I mean, he yeah. was really down bad. Yeah. But yeah. he was, what, what was he? he was inhaling dusters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, and somebody asked me, they were saying, well, what do you think of it? And I said, you know what? I'm happy for him because at least he went out doing what he loved, you know? He went what out. A way, what a way to look at it. So, yeah, I do. Because there are so many ways to pass, right? Mm -hmm. And at least he went out doing what he enjoyed. And it was painless. Yeah. But you know, though, he, he, he enjoyed it at the consequences of hurting other people, though. Who did he hurt? The people he left I mean, behind? yeah, his family. Possibly. But, well, possibly, but. That's, I, to some extent, I see it like that's selfish of us. Yeah, we yeah. want him to be here. But if he's in so much pain that he's self-medicating, right? to get through whatever he's gone through, then you know what? At least, he, like, I have a friend, you know, and she used to, she did a lot of drugs. She did all of the drugs. She was uh -huh. very good at it. Well, I guess not too good because she died from it. But she used to, like, dig in the garbage can to eat food and stuff like that. And I, I thought, oh, God, please don't let my friend die of salmonella, you know? And yeah. she went out just doing too much fentanyl. And she smoked it. And she went, I said, well, good. At least she went out doing what she loved. She had a good time. She well, went on a high ride. That's a way to look yeah, at it. Yeah, I tried to get glasses that's half full. Well, yeah, that is know, a way to look so at Rose it. So Rose and I are looking like, <laughs> no. no. I'm not going to look at like that though. Mm. No, but I would like to say um, my condolences to his family. And I was a huge fan of the Backstreet Boys. And Nick was one Nick of my Logan. favorite. So shout out to Nick and his big brother. I, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I hope and pray that he's, you know, kind of mourning this the right way. But Rose, you mm -hmm. are a hypnotist, 
a professional hypnotist, right? Yes. And um, I know that uh, some people go to hypnotists when they're dealing with addictions. I know nicotine is a really common one. Mm -hmm. So have you treated people who suffer from addictions? In my counseling side, I did. Okay. 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 Which means when you mean counseling side, I mean the professional counseling side. Now, when it comes to like what, what Aaron Carter got, it's just like he was totally dependent on it. And he changed, he did it so much where you know how they, they talked about we wire uh -huh. well, well hell well he kind of like rewired all his brain mm. and it's just sort of like he fried it so many times it's just so hypnotism can't help can't him. help no no, no 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 not to that state not, that. not to where aaron carter is just sort of like uh if you've been drinking a lot and you just you need a 12-step program I okay. yeah because there's a physical addiction there and gotcha. parents stop putting your children and limelight and just having them live this lifestyle of being a celebrity. I think being a celebrity that young is a disaster. It's a recipe for disaster because we see all of our 90s childhood stars, what they because, all say. Yeah. It, it was hard not having a childhood and, crack. and living and in this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's like just not healthy and this is the consequences of it. Mm -hmm. and, and we see it. That's what I see in all of Aaron Carter's interviews as an adult is the depression that he's gained from being a child star. Mm -hmm. And it just, it makes me so sad. But mm -hmm. on you, let Bring it, bring I it heard in. I heard you mention, and yeah. we gotta say, uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace to uh, take off. Take That's off. it's really sad. It's even hard for me to even talk about it. It's just a sad uh, situation. Did you know him? Or no, I did not know take off. But just because it happened in our city, yeah, under I say our watch because yeah. we, what you happened? Know? What happened? It's so many stories around. Mm -hmm around what happened, but the basis of it, he was in a dice game from what I heard. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Dice game. Mm -hmm. And it went wrong. Went or uh, some type of wrong. argument wrong. Yeah. around Meaning, the corner yeah. and he gets shot yeah. And, yeah. and dies. Shot in the head and he dies. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Here, um, last Allegedly. week on Halloween night at a birthday party here in downtown Houston area. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, and the people, the entourage and the people that he were with, you know, we won't talk about them, but they yes, should have protected him. Shot. I know. Yeah, they should have protected him. This is supposed to be a safe you know, place, especially when you check in with a certain group of people. They should make sure that our celebrities who are here get are to go okay. home safe. So, and more yeah. specifically, it appears that he was shot by what we call friendly fire. More mm -hmm. so, like, uh, someone in his entourage started, was shooting and it, uh, he got hit. And what's crazy is depending on how the law shakes out and how the prosecutor chooses to examine it, it could be considered self-defense. Mm -hmm. If that person felt that they, you know, if that person felt they were right. defending, yeah. yeah, trying to defend, take off and the others. Well, that person is now dead, so. Oh yeah, oh, allegedly, I wait, forgot about that. What? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, what? you know, this, this is getting messy. Yeah, yeah. quick. This is gonna have to be a hot topic that we actually talk about. Um, Maybe off camera. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, it is so many. Me. Yes, there's so, so many layers. Many to layers. So oh this, this is going to be a big movie one day. I already know it. Um, so, and uh, speaking of film, uh, Krishana Blueface. They have a show coming out. And oh, it, would okay. anybody watch that? I didn't I watch the show, but I watched the film. It seemed like it's going to be so many layers to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, now, you I wouldn't am, watch it. I am I, I am new to this. No, yeah. I just went in and just looked at it, look at the promo. Yeah. And here's the question I got. <laughs> Tell Axis <Axis> Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Why in the heck are they making a girl crying and her makeup looks bad? <laughs> and she looks like a hot mess. And the guy's looking like, look, look, I'm at the top. I mean, yeah. what bothers me is it's just like, I'm asking this question. It's sort of like, what well, are, are you all follow them? Yes, I do. Okay. I try not to, but they're I, so raggedy. I do. I'll, I'll check in. I, mean, I don't know anything about now, them. No, this isn't good, guys. This isn't good. <laughs> One, because listen to me, guys. We have a history of couples that do reality shows, and the reality show breaks up. It, it's the, a disaster. This is a today. They even all the way together to you and broke up. No, they're a today a version of Whitney Houston out. and Bobby Brown. So this will tell you this is not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get them some counseling and get them some therapy. Yeah. And 
just air the show because I know it's going to get confused. Okay. So, call Rose. Go ahead. Call Rose. Oh, yes. Call Rose. Ooh, yes. Yes. Call, Rose. call me. Yeah. Call me. When you are ready to be done with him, you can call Rose. She can hypnotize you. And I can heal you up. I can heal you up and then forget about all that. What all that? Can you hypnotize people? Can you can you make me bark like a dog? Well, I could make you pop like a sexy dog. Though. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, you know, she's ready. She like, always ready. wanted me hypnotized where I bark like a dog and I talk like a Martian. Oh. So, so, so you, like to, you like to have a little power over you. Is that oh, what's going on? No, she likes to have fun. No, I like to have fun. She likes okay. to have fun. It's the Sagittarius in me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. girl, we can have fun together. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I just. Kashan, if you're watching, which I'm sure you're not, um, if you're watching, I just, what I want for you is a tooth. All I want for Christmas is my new front teeth. That should be your answer. She for has this one. one. Course, guys. She has a tooth. She what? takes it out and she put Blue's face on the tooth. So that was everybody. Need to go. All of me go to hell. No, no, no. She has a tooth. All, all I have to say, she doesn't want it was to up wear this mm. because her man said when she wore the tooth, you out here acting like because you got a tooth. Hold on, hold on. So to get him back, she pulled it out. Oh, my. so she did it for him, so guys. That, I that's a, hold on, that is crazy. That that's she got his face it. on her. Hold on. Of course she did. That is crazy. My man wouldn't even take me nowhere if I didn't have a tooth. Yes. Yeah, so. He wouldn't even be my man. And tell me. <laughs> but he wants her what to does, have to give my What right does he do to possess that much power over her? A, a beautiful, hold on, well, hold on. This is though. not good. This is not good. This is the telltale sign of like a domestic violence. And it's just like, I, I just don't get this. Okay, why well, are you promoting this? Well, you know what? Okay. When we, we're going to have to watch the show together. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we're going to come that. back. Let's I'm not getting Zeus my five ninety nine. Oh Oh my God. But thank I you guys. I will crack rock. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't smoke. Thank you so much for tuning in to Hot <laughs> Topics. This is the best <laughs> Hot Topics. I don't know. Connect. with my fellow hostesses. So we have Dr. Colbert here. She has been over 25 years as a global HR leader. And she has many roles in technology. And of course, right now, currently, she works as a senior director at Google. And my favorite, she is a breast cancer survivor, a veteran. Please, thank you so much for joining us on the show tonight. How are you? I'm doing extremely well and what a pleasure. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be speaking to all of you ladies and to your audience to have a spirited dialogue today. Yes. yes. So we're gonna have a little fun. <laughs> of course. Let's do it. Welcome. Welcome, Dr. Dr. Jackie Colbert. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so to break the ice, we were I don't know if you were in the audience here at Hot Topics, were you? Kinda, you know, I'm, I'm a bit nosy, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was catching it. Yes, I was so catching. There's something that my fellow co-host asked. Uh, what is your signature karaoke song? Well, what if oh, I told you I didn't necessarily have a karaoke song? Oh. But I do my own little rap sometimes. Oh. oh okay. Oh, you open oh, the door. There, there might be a little inner rapper with me. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know. Y'all ready? Y'all okay. ready to be? Yeah. All right. Y'all ready? Let but, the beat drop. But you're gonna you're gonna have to go because I also drum. I'll go. Me head me toe. My body a rap. Me living a house. Me living a rap. Band in my crack. Jack your chat. Hey. Me not held the wicked a rap. Oh. Singer. She got my nose. Oh. Ask me now. Ask me no chat. Hey. Oh. You gotta have fun in life. That was probably the We're talking about breast cancer, Chef. I've got a lot to be happy about. So, well, speaking of breast cancer, you. Congratulations on that, beating Daddy Devil. So I, what I read about you, which inspired me was, it's not just about surviving breast cancer, but it's about after. I have family who also survived breast cancer, but until I read your mission, I never thought to ask them, what are challenges they have after math? Yeah, you know, it's interesting in that for me, having gone through a year of chemo, 35 rounds of radiation, 
and then you get a clean bill of health and all of a sudden your oncologist says to you, uh, you're good, you don't have to come back and see me. And, and let's think about the psychology here because oh, exactly. you're seeing this person every week and they're checking in on you and then all of a sudden- It's like breakup. Okay, Jesus, yeah. It's a high breakup. It is. Oh, wow. And doctors don't get that. It's like breakup. It, it really is. And there's a certain level of trepidation that can creep in if you're not careful about your psychology. Mm -hmm. So I talk about positive psychology quite a that. bit. Oh, are okay. you interested? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 I'm leading you. Uh, you got to be. Yeah, we're leading you. You got to mind your mental, baby. Mm, tell mind me your that. mental. So positive psychology is really about one's perspective and how you look at life. In curating Sipping Positivity, it, it wasn't just about a platitude. It was having those visual reminders for those days when you may not feel it, right? Mm, yeah. Because as positive as I am, I'm like everybody else. Yeah. What What gets you up? Because it's it's that many rounds of radiations, and, and God bless you, because I don't want to go through that. I can Nobody just totally does, imagine. right? Yeah, right. It's good. How, because it's a sort of like it. I'm a hypnotist. I'm also a counselor, right? And I've always just preached and said, you gotta, you gotta plan those bad days to get over the hump because it's just a damn hump. Yes, right. You know, I said, excuse my language, baby. You know what? And uh, it's just because you got to remain positive on what you want. That's right. And what you're chasing. I, I, I think it. There's, there's a duality. Yeah, good point. There is positivity, and then there are journeys that we have to go through in life. Mm -hmm. And what I say to myself, even on the days when I'm in my home office, as I walk from the back to the front, I often say, okay, all right, Jesus, I'm not feeling it, but come on, come on. showtime, baby, let's yeah. rock and roll. Right. Right. You right. signed me up for this, or you, you actually signed off on it. You, you might not have wanted this, but you yeah. said, okay, my girl can handle this. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go, showtime. Shout out to you. And, and, yeah, and so I say that to also say this, even in the negative times, one can find positivity because there's a lesson to be learned. That is correct. And so yeah. you have to ask yourself, what should I be getting out of this? And as mad as I am right now, and I'm spitting mm. hot grits, I'm going <laughs> to deal with this and I'm going to help somebody else about in the hot process. Grits. Do you like grits? Like but you know what? I, <laughs> Are you hungry? Can, can I, let me let me oh, be. Baby, I'm always hungry. So I'm at one point. I love to cook some food. Mm -mm, go ahead. I, she just made me hungry because I do intermittent <laughs> fasting. <laughs> Um, and we, are, and we, and we do, we do serve shrimp and grits, which has a wonderful shrimp and grits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll try yeah. shrimp, shrimp and grits, please. Please, yeah. <laughs> I do like shrimp and grits, but yeah. I'm pescatarian for the most part. Oh, that's really? a byproduct that's, of that's of, that's the way. No, I want to. I just want to put all of this in context to an extent. And so, with your backstory, you were diagnosed with breast cancer at 14, 14. years old, right? A lot of people don't even have breasts at 14. Well, not quite at 14. Okay. You know, I'd like to say that I kind of look like I was 14. Okay. I'm a 14 year breast cancer. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, 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 it's okay. You don't even have it's titties okay. all the way. Okay. Uh, no, it was, it was kind of flat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Live. What, is, oh, what has happened at second base lately is a different story, but okay. it was flat. It was flat. 14 yeah. years of survival. Whenever okay. you were talking and you mentioned how you were telling yourself, come on. It's gonna be hard, but we got this. You are being your own coach. Do you know how hard it is for people to be their own coach and inspire themselves just to get up in the morning? So that really inspired me that you are that type of woman. And I, I love you for that. Like, Listen, um, first of all, thank you. Gratitude means a lot to me and I don't play around with it. Even the opportunity to be here in the studio with you to spend time. Um, and to feel the energy that you're giving off, mm -hmm. energy doesn't lie. I'm mm -hmm. digging it like a grave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never skip what's on your resume, because here's the backstory. Uh, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. I'm an immigrant. My uh, parents migrated from British Guyana, went to school in New York, had a scholarship to NYU. <clears throat> Large family, there are eight of us, I have seven siblings. We had a two bedroom apartment. Mm. All eight kids were in that apartment. And so as I was in school for one semester, I thought that 
life from me and the experiences that I needed to have were much bigger than Brooklyn and New York. Amen. Mm. I didn't really know what it was. Yeah, I promise you, you know, I was you know. very naive, but I had an inner knowing and something was yes. just gnawing at me. So guess what I did? <clears throat> Wait for it. <laughs> I dropped out of college and oh. I joined the United States Army. Oh, okay. Wow, okay, okay. okay. I feel you. I follow. Now, that's if, money. You, if you understand Caribbean parents, mm. That's yeah. not what you do. No. no. Because it's about pedagogy and education. Yeah. You're going to be a doctor, a lawyer, yeah. one of those oh, things, oh, right? It's still the same mm-hmm. in the Asian culture. Oh, oh talk, <laughs> to so talk to me. Talk to me. I spent a year and a half in yeah. Korea. Oh, I know how to say, yo, we don't play. Yeah. <laughs> we don't play. <laughs> yes. Best decision I ever made for my career because I was disciplined mm. as a child, but the mm. military gives you a certain level of mental dexterity that's wow. unlike mm. anything else. Wow. And I believe that God positioned me and I was uniquely <clears throat> appointed to be able to deal with the things that I had to deal with at the time being a single mom. Oh, mm. wow. Now, I know we have to wrap up. We don't have much time left, but let us know. How can we support you and your organization? There are a couple of things that you can do. First, I want you to mind your own mental and take care of yourselves. So you have to promise okay. me that you will do that. Uh, far too often, we extend ourselves so much that we don't take cause for the cause and the cause is you. You're, mm-hmm. you're a VIP, you're the most important people. Secondarily, for those who are listening, know that Breast Cancer Awareness Month being October should not be a one-time event. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, too many people, men and women are being diagnosed with breast and chest cancer. Mm-hmm. I want you to join me on the journey. Um, I ain't too proud to beg, so I need money. That's All right. <laughs> All right. So if you would, with the best of my being from a cellular level, please go to my website, www.sippingpositivitypositivitea.org. And whatever you can, I want you to donate. Because we're using those funds, not just for current care or for those groups that are underrepresented, we're using for aftercare. 14 years later, I still have neuropathy in my fingers. Mm-hmm. And there's some days where I can't feel it. Mm-hmm. Or you wouldn't know that my body is swollen today because of lymphedema. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we're using funds beyond the confines of just regular care to help folks that are in need. I also want to make sure that you take care of your breasts and your chest. Mm-hmm. Please do your monthly breast exams. It's no joke. If you need an illustration, I'll come back in another show. Okay. 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 All right. But you, th- thank you for asking the question. Support is needed by way of much needed funds. I would love to see you in any upcoming events that we have. Check out our website. The goal is to educate. The goal is to raise funds. The goal is to be in the community and put the money to work where it's needed and knowing that you will have my commitment that someone who has had a lived experience, not just talking about it as hyperbole, but really having a vested interest in this work. Mm. Wow. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us. We truly appreciate it, Dr. Jackie. Always the pleasure. What's your website? W- Say again. My website is <laughs> www.sipping, S-I-P-P-I-N-G, P-O-S-I-T-I-V-I-T-E-A dot org, because if you're going to sip, sip responsibly and sip positivity. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about a, is it sipping positivity? Sipping it's sipping positivity. It's how a play on words. How do you come up with it? Mm-hmm. I love that. Tell me the backstory yeah. of that. So you know, I've got I've got a few girlfriends that you know. Every so often, we'll call each other and we'll say, "Girl, I got some tea for you." Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm always down with the tea. So I was driving down Beltway eight one day, coming home when I was working at Kind of Co. Phillips. And honestly, the Lord spoke to me because I was yeah. stuck in traffic, <laughs> and somebody was calling me about the tea. Now. The way that I live my life and my brand has is, is always been a positive one. Mm-hmm. And invariably, I said to this girlfriend on the phone, I was like, well, if you're going to sip tea and if you're going to give me tea, let's make it positive. And I started mm-hmm. playing around with the I words. Love I love it. Like, yeah, yeah, sip I love it. Tea. So what's what the last event or upcoming event that you will be doing? So I've just wrapped up my annual pink and black gala that's that was, based that on... That was amazing. 
Oh, you were present. You were there. Oh, 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 nice. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. I wanted, I wanted just to be there. And I was like, oh, that so room was filled with. Yes. Well, you better promise me you'll be Not in the too. place next year. Oh, absolutely. Because right. we're already yeah. planning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and I, listen again. Gratitude is big time. You, you, I believe you know that your net worth really enlarges your net worth, and net yeah. worth is not always about money, but it's about people showing up at those critical times when you need them. Mm -hmm. um, it combines all of my Fs. Mm -hmm. I love fashion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love good food a little bit too <laughs> yeah. much. Oh. I love fundraising. So yeah, that all, was all of the apps, and then there's faith, family, and friends. So it's a combination of all of those things coming together in a meaningful way mm -hmm. to raise funds. We have local designers, and now it's broadening to others who really want to join in and join forces with us. We have V. Matthew Knowles as our keynote speaker, who is what a is chest all? cancer survivor. Oh, oh wow. I know that. Yes, yes, and, and wow. um, you know, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee is Ooh, one of the hardest. To <laughs> Don't play with her. But Don't she bring it. But yeah, I gotta she tell brings, you, she brings it. She works hard for the money. Yeah. yeah. So we just finished that up. We are in the process of taking time to plan intentionally about other key, smaller, more intimate things that we can do. But I think that, that there's a need to meet people where they are. Okay. Yeah. I want to do more about going out into the community, mm -hmm. and I haven't fully flushed it out yet. I would enlist anybody's help who wants to uh, join forces with me and say, I've got a better way that you can do this. Yeah, I might it. say not during the week, girl, because the day job <laughs> keeps me busy, but let's talk on Saturday. Well, can I have you look at the camera, look at the audience, and tell them where they can reach you or the organization one last time? Absolutely. Yes, I will restate our website again. First of all, audience, thank you for tuning in and for hearing what we're talking about, which is a very important story. Please check out our website. It's the best place to find us, www.sippingpositivitee.org. And by the way, I'm an Instagram girl, so you can check out <laughs> Sipping Positivity on Instagram, but you can also check me out at Dr. Jackie Colbert, D-R-C-O-L, well, Jackie first, right? Let's try that again. Bear with me, I'm so imperfect. D-R-J-A-C-Q-U-E-C-O-L-B-E-R-T on Instagram. I would love to see you. Come on through my feed. Thank you so much. Well, thank you thank guys you. for tuning in. This is the Session Talk Show, and we were honored to have you here today. Thank you so much. My hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing well. It's Dr. Jackie Colbert. I am with SippingPositivity.org. You are watching the Session Talk Show with Cam Vision 365. Session Talk Show. We are your hostesses. I'm Tia. I'm Rose. I'm Simone. And I'm Takia. So what are you about to say, Simone? Yeah, so I'm excited. We need to have a little girl chat. Oh, okay. come on. Oh, my God. say is one of the things that I love to do real quick with my fiance he's in the audience thank you sweetie for supporting <laughs> is I like I hate driving because I'm not good at it I'm on, I'm, I'm on my third car in one year, but that's neither here nor there. But I like for him to like drive me and my homegirls around like long enough to get drunk. Mm. Is that fun? That is very okay. fun. And then his, um, cause I'm I'm reasonable, you know, like 50-50. Yeah. So my mm -hmm. half is I get drunk, and his half is when I get home, you know, he reaps the rewards. Oh, you think yeah. that's reasonable? That's, that's, that's reasonable. very reasonable. Yeah. That's reasonable. I just wish that you guys would go ahead and do. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You guys do that. Remember the show Taxi? Yeah, oh, yes. And you had a camera on dash, so you can see what's going on. Oh my God. Yes. 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 However, I have to be the driver. You want to be the driver? I want to be the driver. No, I, I, I want to see what happens. No, happened. you want to be the camera. Girl, you little voyager. I know. What they call those people? Voyager people? Yes. Don't tell me, baby. What else can happen? But I do have a rule. Okay, I have a rule. I feel like.
like men cannot come on the girls' night unless you're buying the drink. Okay. And or driving. Buy yeah. The, like men. don't why don't come around if you're not gonna be useful. So you need to like drive and buy the drinks or sit in the car. Okay. Is that reasonable? That that's reasonable. Okay. That's like a little, little protective. Like <laughs> okay. okay. He's okay. making the face like yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now in other news, in other relationships, let's talk yes. Diddy. Oh Diddy. my gosh. You know, Diddy has changed his name to love and he is just spreading that love all around. Oh, not Nick Cannon love, right? Oh no, oh. not not Oh my god, Nick, Nick Cannon. Nick is about to have enough children to make disciples. Yeah. Oh, what children? number is he on? Eleven. Is it twelve? No. No, he's at eleven. He's, he's at eleven. About, when he well, is he twelve, have 12. he's gonna have a table full of disciples. Yeah. It's really gonna be. But amazing. you know, his 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 baby mom is just like gorgeous. Yeah, like, they, I mean, if you have that kind of money, though, they better be. If they ugly and you have that kind of money, something is wrong with your sperm. <laughs> That's what I would think. But, but what go ahead about Diddy. But Diddy, go ahead, so yeah. Diddy is very publicly dating young Miami, mm -hmm. but also Daphne Joy, which is 50 Cent's baby mama. No, I didn't know yes. that. Yes. Oh, but yeah. You know, though, you know, he's love. He's brother love. But, you know, P. Diddy is also the billionaire club. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's all I want to say. It's just like... If you're gonna have two girls and two girls fighting over P. Diddy, who's in the billionaire club, mm -hmm. so you're, are you saying that this is rich man territory only? Like broke boys shouldn't do that. Well, broke hell. boys don't deserve no. I know that's, that's right. right. <laughs> she, she's been listening to a lot of Cardi. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. So you're saying that there, this is reasonable because of that. Definitely. If you got money like that. You don't what think the hell? so. But Specifically, what the hell? this particular last weekend, he was out with um, Young Miami, and she very publicly gifted him something obnoxious, oh. something very expensive. What was it? A watch, a ring? I it was, see. It was well. Hell, he's in the billionaire club. It was it something was that was like it seventy thousand dollars. Yeah. So she gifted him that at the birthday, and then the and and then posted a photo of the two of them, and it said something like happy. And the very next day. Daphne Joy posted a photo of her and Diddy on the beach talking about blessed. Oh, so she's blessed and the other one is happy. And this is all the same weekend. And my first thought is, how is your pH balance not off? Like, oh, right? oh, Lord. oh, oh Lord. this is oh, unsanitary. Oh, my <laughs> God. Good Lord. I never thought about that. She's I am. I'm very concerned. Oh, a little fishy. Summer's Eve can only do so much. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, good Lord. You're right. You, you know, ever think my, of that? My, well, now I surely yeah. That's how I knew that my one boyfriend was, was not oh, being an honest gentleman. Yeah, I did. That's how that changed. Yeah. It was all out of whack. But you know, the, the, the P. Diddy said he was like exclusive to either one of them. Or did they just assume no, that they were exclusive? I mean, we you know what understood I mean? that you're not. No, 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 baby, no, baby. I mean, Diddy, Diddy has three daughters that are the same age. He has three 12 year olds. Now, two are twins. Well, two are but the third one credit. was his home, like a homegirl. So that's actually why uh, Kim was like, all right, she was through and cut him off. It's because he Is had a baby really? on her. Okay. She you said, is that what I believe? That what you believe? Oh, oh my God. God. What you know? Girl, I don't you. know anything. I don't want to like people's business, but I do know what I do. Oh, I don't care what you love me in. I'm good with monogamy. If it's Googleable, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing in your work break? I gotta, break? I gotta, I gotta start Googling. I gotta you start Googling. Gotta, you, you, you gotta, you gotta yeah. join the Google. Oh, so where do you get your tea from? Y'all. That's what we're talking about. Appreciate you, bro. Shade room. Yeah, so, yeah. all right. So now we're going to transition to a segment that's going to be our legal chat. Let's just call legal it legal chat. Girl, is that legal? Okay. Yeah, that's good. So I have a YouTube channel, and it's called Girl. girl is that legal? Yeah, and I because it my girls, whenever they call me and they want some free advice, I'm like, first of all, you owe me a drink. Okay. But second of all, I'll let you know if it's legal. Okay. So, <laughs> the first thing, one of the things that happened this week that really pissed me off is at the University of Kentucky. Oh. This oh random crazy white girl that. attacks this okay. black student who is simply working her student, you know, her, um, oh, yeah, being, uh, being like a good her student, student job. Hey, and babe. the first, yeah, on the first level of the door, and, and drunky drunk drunk okay. wants to start calling her the oh, N-word, hey, fighting her. Yeah. She kicks the black girl. Uh, she punches her, she kicks her in the stomach, and a variety of things. Now, I want to make sure we know her name because I want to make sure that her life is uh, terrible. We'll see. At least for the next time. Her name is Sophie. It is. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. She's not a child. And I pulled up the records. Yeah. Sophia Rosie. 
Now, here's a clip. We're gonna cut to it, and I want you to I want you to look at this raggedy shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all look mm -hmm. at this raggedy stuff. saw that raggedy shit. I, I, I said, I said, what'd you say? What the hell? It's not she no, literally, like she literally, like, like, is she crazy? She is like she, she a What is wrong with her head? Don't you do it. And that's don't she, she do is. it, Rose. And that's how she well, hell, I got uh, out. That's though. the white Literally. people Bible. That's the white people litigation Bible. Let me tell you the white people tell litigation me, Bible. Here's what it looks like. Oh my God, I don't know what's wrong with my child. She has a <laughs> mental health problem. I don't know what it is. I'm going to get her to therapy, Your Honor. Oh, this has never happened before. I just don't know what it is. Meanwhile, when it's a black child, they uh, were raised this way. Mm -hmm. It was your poor parenting. Mm -hmm. It was that one time that, you know, you needed to be on food stamps for six weeks because mm -hmm. life was life in. Yeah. It was everything else. It is all your fault, right? Yeah. So I just knew, and sure enough, the parents are saying, so what happens is um, the school is trying to decide, University of Kentucky was trying mm -hmm. to determine if they were gonna put her out. Ugh. They had the little girl resign. I don't care. They still need to put her out and it needs yes. to be official that the yeah. school has decided that you are trash. Mm -hmm. Secondly, they need to prosecute her to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, according to the records, she kicked and bit a cop. Let me tell you something. She's if a it. little black girl bit and kicked a cop, oh, she, would, she might be dead. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. this little girl gets to go home to her mammy and her daddy. And I also need to know, I need to know who they are and what businesses they run. Because I've never met a racist child who didn't learn it from their racist parents. Yeah. The hate is taught. You got my line there. You got my line there. You agree? I agree because it's just sort of like, okay, now, you, you're crazy. You, you look, you just seem out of there. What the hell have you been taking? Oh, right. What's wrong with your head? Then I go, okay, you learned this from who? Right. Yeah. yeah. It's just sort of like, well, you're not going to hurt me when you do that. It's just because normally I think back and go, okay, now, who who is the poor bastard that taught you this? Right. Yeah. This is your mom or your dad or both. Mm -hmm. Takiya, I have to ask you, what would satisfy you? Satisfy me as far as justice. What would justice look yes. like? Oh, I was thinking something else. But she got to mm -hmm. take responsibility for her actions. I actually think because I looked into who she was, and she is one of those girls who wants to be like a social media director, the CEO. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. She has this. Yeah. I looked at her page, and I'm like, oh, she's talking about she's, the white girl. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. She so she's she a Rosie. 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 R O S I U G. She was on drugs. Cause it looked like she was on drugs. Oh, oh no, she was just cheap. Okay. So this isn't no, the first incident. This okay. isn't the first yeah, okay. incident caught on camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, really? So she has reached. She also was at a party, a frat party, and she was drunk, intoxicated, and she was saying how she's rich and you're ugly. Look at your shoes. So this is just who she is. It didn't happen just once. When so I'm that tells me that tells me that her character is already shown. Yeah. So what chances do we give her? Yeah. yeah. Especially when you're drunk. When I'm drunk, I scream for Popeye's chicken. Okay. I don't call people okay. racist names. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's who I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think I, I think you're absolutely You know, right. I like churches yeah. more than Popeye's chicken. Churches? Okay. Get okay. out of here. Be friends. You know what? Churches was founded around the corner from my granny's so house in San Antonio, you're Texas. Like, I, I love churches. churches. So you, know, you love how wow. the grease you just falls down your head. Oh, hell. But you know, the churches don't know my stomach, no good guys. Guys, you know, have right. you ever right bit into that church's chicken? Oh and my it's God. like the can't. grease was hitting in there. But you gotta have it with jalapeno pepper though. Oh, y'all, my nails fell off. Grease and pepper. Jalapeno pepper. Okay, only jalapeno pepper. We are okay, okay people. We're okay. We, we promise. We got some tape. Okay. Okay. My nail came off, y'all. She asked for some Popeye's chicken. Yeah. So that's where we at. So this week, um, well, last week actually, it was old crazy Kanye. You know, he wore the White Lives Matter t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. And recently, um, uh, a uh, anonymous white individual uh, filed for the White Lives Matter trademark and then transferred it to a black-owned designer company. 
So, what do you guys think of that? I think that's brilliant. It's smart. I don't know what to think of that. I don't know what to think of that. You know what? You know what? Do you what? Any uh, right negative? No, 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 no. I just think it's just racism in disguise, and what people do. Oh, you you're talking about. The, but I, we're, I'm, I'm speaking more so the the I'm fact that someone that. nicely bought it. Yeah. But then you know. But then and you think it was nice. But then they why own, why call oh, it up? Two young black men own the trademark for black of white lives matter. <laughs> How do you think that's not good? It can be like it's like having something bad in the wrong hands, and sometimes we got to take something bad and mm -hmm. put it in the right, right hand, okay. so they can go ahead and. And if you want to use it to make profit off of it, that's fine because we're going to get the check. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Rose? So, I don't know what to think about it. <laughs> okay. it, it it's, it's just sort of like, you know, the whole hookah dam about black lives, white lives. Do I say right? Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. Should I zip my lip? About being politically correct. Mm -hmm. This is what I mean. It's just like, I don't know what to think about white lives because then when you talk about black lives and all that shebang and all that riot and all that other stuff I see in my head, I don't see anything good out of this. It's sort of, I'm just wondering, is that because of your well, cultural think, background? No, 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 for, from what, what I you remember. Understand from way back when I think of black lives and white lives, it's just way too close together. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, okay, I what's know. up, Willis? And what are you really <laughs> What's up, Willis? What's, up, Willis? I what's your intention here? Because you know, not all good people well, are good, bad intention. people are out there. Bad people are out there. Yeah. Yeah. Bad people like Kanye. Are out there. Well, Kanye is just a big ego, okay. and I just wonder about his mental illness. No, now he, now he is mental. Now that is true. I, I, but, I just, Legally, I thought, so I thought, okay, it was a great gesture, but I just want to be clear for everyone out there. Legally, it was actually, it, it doesn't make a difference. So them filing for White Lives Matter, um, it, my understanding is the goal is they then would take it away from Kanye being able to use it mm. in the way that Kanye likes to Kanye. So for example, having, a, a you know, now he's no longer with Adidas or Gap, but being able to create the shirts, this, that, and the other. Their thought was, okay, because he hadn't trademarked it, but we have, we'll have superior rights. I'm here to tell you, no, guys, that's not how the law works. What they did was they filed something called an intent to use application. Mm -hmm. But how trademark law works is whoever has actually used it first has superior rights. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That's Kanye. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. if they have not filed for the trademark. Uh, oh. Because what we have right now is simply an application. Mm -hmm. And the process works this way. You apply for registration. And then a certain time period, it's usually about 16 to 18 months goes by. And then it begins, it gets what's called publicized. Mm -hmm. And anyone can oppose your application at the point that it's publicized. And the mm -hmm. way to do so is to simply say, hey, guys, this is an intent to use. I've already been using it. Therefore, that person, it, so if Kanye is to do that, Kanye actually wins. I will say this is all taken out of context. Like I told yeah. someone who mentioned, oh, why just Black Lives Matter? I had to tell a friend that was not black okay. that Black Lives Matter is not saying that we are more important than any other race. It is just saying that right now we need your help and support. And too many things has been happening to us as a community that's been overlooked. So just think of that next time you have something. Welcome to the Talk Show. We have to bring up our Twitter. Like, come on, we have to have a second on that. So what's going on, Simone? Yes, so I started following this page that's called Black Twitter Threads. Y'all, if you're not following them, you should, because they have some of the best, most outlandish threads of the week. And one of the ones that really spoke to my soul, because I'm ignorant like that, yeah. is there was a thread um, that by a Twitter user named Olani, O-L-O-N-I, and okay. she said, hey, if you are intimate with someone, I want you to send a text to that person that says, how come we aren't official yet? And screenshot what their response is. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, my. oh they had okay, some good okay, ones. Okay. So this is somebody you're sleeping with, right? That you're not boyfriend and girlfriend with, at least to your knowledge. Yeah. And you, you asked them that, and then they posted their response. 
So one girl wrote to the guy, you know, why are we officially together? His response, who this? <laughs> Another response, why are we officially together yet? He says, what expired vodka are you drinking this evening? <laughs> Uh, another one was, why aren't we officially together yet? His response, are we not? <laughs> that sounds like something he says, you met my family and you're saying we aren't officially together. What do you want? A speech and a prize? Oh, so <laughs> oh, he loves her. He does. <laughs> They're probably going to get married. Yeah. <laughs> now, this was one of my personal favorites. Why aren't we together yet? And uh, he wrote back. Cause the hoes gonna get mad and you can't fight. Oh God, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. So, have you ever um, have you ever dated someone where you started off clear. as a friend? Yeah, you start off maybe as a friend with benefits or something like that, but then later it was like, wait a minute, why aren't we together? Or that you wanted to be together? So you feel like it should be cleared up in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, so I don't do it to people that are not my boyfriend because we already discussed my pH balance. Okay, but, you know, there are a variety of reasons, but I just, well, that's not true. I'm like, I don't, if I want you to one day be my boyfriend, then mm -hmm. I don't do it to you. Like, I'm, I'm not giving away the gifts for free. Yeah. But like, I dated this one guy who was like stupid and poor. And I was like, and I didn't want to be in a relationship. I was like, okay, this is perfect. Cause I won't fall in love with you. He literally used to pass out snacks at the homeless shelter. That was his job. Oh, yeah. No. He had a felony and wouldn't let me expunge it. Okay. So, but so my point is, yeah, like, have you ever dated someone where you were just kind of like, let's just see where this is going to go? Um, that's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, especially if you're looking at somebody and you're like, oh, there's no way I'm going to fall in love with him. Or there's no way I'm going to fall in love with her. And then, then you, I to, I you do. You do, and you're yeah. scared to bring them around because they have that lump. Like, <laughs> just don't do it. They got the attraction there. I just won't. I just won't go there. No, this guy was really cute, but that's all. But, he but was. then, but then, if he's cute and there's no brains, then I won't go there. He was very stupid, but I didn't want. That's a, what I mean. Oh, I didn't want an all the way boyfriend because I was like, I had just moved to town. I was like not trying to be serious with anybody. But I'm a Catholic. I'm a good Catholic girl, so I don't want to be doing it to like six people. I just wanted to do it to one. That's okay. It feels <laughs> okay. No. Now that I say it out loud, it oh, sounds so yeah, now that it's it. say it again. <laughs> it's not a well, good idea. Got it. Well, on that note, we thank you so much for joining us on this talk. Let us know your favorite Twitter threads of the week. Black Twitter. Is there white Twitter? Oh, Let's no, not go no, there. No, yes. Yes. Your husband. Yeah, you have a white husband, so I didn't know if you would know what the white people do. I need more white friends. Or if you'd like to be my white friend, um, please reach out to us on Instagram at the session talk show. Well, thank you guys so much for coming out. Thanks for engaging with us yeah. on these legal topics. And again, if you have any other topics that you'd love to hear addressed, feel free to reach out to us on Instagram at The Session Talk Show on our Instagram page. And we would love to hear your comments and your suggestions. Thank you. See you next time.